It's uh, Sunday, I think it's the uh, 12th or 13th, not sure. Anyway, um, I'm just set off from uh, Myrtos uh, for a trip across the Sea of Cortez to Mazatlan, which is about uh, 190 miles. Um, calm seas at the moment, no wind, but it should fill in later on. Um, it took about a week to get down to Myrtos from uh, Porto Escondido. Uh, I did about 160 miles. Stopped at Agua Verde, uh, San Evaristo, and then um, Calita Partida for a couple of days uh, because there was a lot of swell. Um, pretty uneventful trip, except for the trip from Calita Partida to Myrtos. I had to come down through the Cerebo Channel. Um, it was 51 miles, and um, I got my ass kicked. Um, the wind was supposed to be from the north. Uh, down through the channel it wasn't it came from the south I don't know why uh, but I had a side swell of about six feet and it was seven hours of sheer unpleasantness I was, <laughs> I was certainly glad to get into Myrtos last night and uh, have a bit of a rest um, hopefully the trip across uh, to Mazatlan will be uh, less eventful than that. I'm not expecting a great deal of wind, uh, probably 12 to 15 uh, max, so uh, we shall see. But it's a lovely morning, and um, I've had the motor out of the bay. Um, I'll probably have to motor till about 10 o'clock, and um, should get some wind then. Um, and from a decent direction for a change. So um, I decided not to make the whole one leg trip to the cruise, it's 350 miles and uh, for a single hander that um, second night's a killer when you're on your own. Uh, you're tired anyway from the first night, then you're doing another whole day and the second night is just awful. So I'm going to break the trip up and uh, stop in Mazatlan uh, for one night. Uh, um, probably at El Cid Marina, if I can't get in there I'll, uh, I'll anchor out. Um, and then carry on down to the cruise. So, um, one thing I haven't seen, which is very unusual, I've seen very little sea life. I've seen no dolphins, I saw one turtle, uh, and that was it, no whales, nothing. Uh, it's really unusual. I don't know why. I might, um, I might throw the fishing pole out a bit later on and um, see if we can catch something. But um, yeah, here we go. Um, plain sailing, hopefully. I'll talk to you. So, I've had a change of plan. It's 11 o'clock, uh, I've been going four hours. The wind's not filled in, and uh, I've been going against this uh, varying uh, swell along the beam. So I'm going to change course and uh, I'm going to head directly to the cruise uh, instead of going to Mazatlan which is 190 miles and then another 190 miles down to the cruise. So uh, by going straight it reduces the distance to 340 miles. Uh, it does mean staying out the second night but uh, looking at the weather tomorrow um, I'll get a better angle at it coming from this direction than I will coming down if I come down the coast. Uh, so that's the plan. It's uh, pretty calm, uh, pretty uneventful. I uh, did see some whale blows a long way off. Uh, they've gone by the time I got there. And there's a few uh, uh, chattering on the radio, mainly from the uh, sports fishing boats which I must be picking up from Cabot, uh, and that's a long way away. So, there it is, um, the wind's not arrived. I'm still doing 6.8 knots. Uh, I managed to get, yesterday I had a problem with the sail. Uh, it would only come out um, probably three quarters of the way, then fold it back on itself. So, um, I wound it back in last night, and I got into the anchorage, and uh, played around with it, and this morning it's 
as it's been free, so, so at least I've still I've got a full main. Um, it's not worth putting the uh, head so out. Uh, I'm still dead into the wind, uh, and there isn't any wind anyway. So there it is. Um, not going to be much um, sailing footage today. Um, other than that, Starlink's a bit um, yeah iffy. It keeps losing signal. Um, maybe because I was, I was uh, moving around a lot a bit earlier on but um, other than that everything's good uh, it's going to be a long 350 40 miles okay I'll um, update you a bit later if uh, anything's worth filming <laughs> as you can see uh, no wind and uh, the swell has disappeared So, we're motoring. Looks like it's going to be uh, a lot of fuel used and uh, very little movement on the wheel. I think it's going to be um, 41 hours. We'll see. I seem to be doing 6.7, 6.8, so um, I'm making good time. The only thing I'm not sure of is um, I passed the route, I passed quite close to what, what was, and I think maybe still is, a penal colony um, just south of uh, Isla Isabella. So um, I think it's closed. So, otherwise you're not normally allowed within 40 miles of it. But we'll see. <laughs> see if the Navy comes out and chases me away. I don't know whether you can see the wind indicator, but it's bang on the nose. But there is some the sail staying full, so it's not flapping around. in the afternoon and the uh, wind is bang on the nose as always still got a long way to go
are you doing there? Hey? It's not a free ride, you know. Well, at least you haven't shit everywhere. You're quite young. <laughs> I'll leave you be. Glassy seas. And a fantastic sunrise. Wow. Unbelievable. And as you expect, no wind. I might as well roll that bugger in. <clears throat> so, 24 hours in, and uh, we're about halfway. Last night was pretty calm. I had a motor sail most of it, but I managed to keep up seven and a half knots, which is uh, pretty good. Nothing else out here at all. Not another boat in the sail. I saw the two trawlers late yesterday afternoon. That's about it. And, um, yeah, another 24 hours, and we should pull into Bandera's Bay. Time to make some coffee. I'm tired. <laughs> I've just seen a shed load of bird shit. I mean, where the hell has that come from? They're up on the spreaders. <laughs> I think it's time to get rid of them. Hopefully you can hear this over the engine. Um, so it's just uh, a couple of hoses, one into the uh, tank, one into the bottom of the um, jerry can, and a little blow hose. Just sets up a siphon. It's very easy. That's it. And that should drain in about oh, 90 seconds, maybe two minutes, we'll see. But um, you don't actually have to have this, you can uh, just put a hose in the jerry can and put a cloth around the top and then just leave a, a gap to flow through. But um, you get a bit uh, of easily taste in your mouth if you do that too often. So uh, this is a much better idea doesn't spoil your morning coffee with diesel. I've got um, uh, about 18 gallons left on the uh, on the decks and the tank is uh, about half full. It only holds 46 gallons so um, it'll be enough to get me there. I've got a reserve tank uh, which holds another 17 gallons. I actually ought to use that because uh, I don't know how long that diesel's been in there. Yeah, nearly done. Alright, this is the last one. I don't think the fuel gauge is uh, working particularly well. Um, it's moved, but um, 18 gallons is nearly, uh, I put in about 18 gallons, it's nearly um, oh, well over a third of a tank. Uh, 
and maybe the uh, floats got stuck. So there it is. I hope you find that useful and uh, save splashing diesel everywhere. And um, yeah, it's worked well for me. See you later. Now up ahead are the uh, Maria Madre Islands. I think there's like three of them. And uh, up until very recently, um, one was a penal colony, but people are saying that it's actually been closed. So um, I can get quite close to it. Um, whereas before you had to be, uh, I can't remember the distance, but some way off, otherwise they uh, held you up on the radio and sent a bloody patrol boat out. But um, still a nice day, flat calm. Got both sails up. Not actually doing a lot, but um, haven't got rid of the birds. Still four of them hanging around. Those two up there haven't moved. And the other two just keep flying around, fishing and then coming back and having a rest. Sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> and a free ride to wherever they're going. Hopefully La Cruz. They can ride all the way. Beautiful day. The uh, 150 boat Ha Ha fleet arrived in uh, Cabo San Lucas on Saturday. They had their big party and uh, some of them are left making their way across. Um, a buddy of mine, Kevin, Kevin White, uh, crewed on a boat down from um, San Diego and um, he's hitched a ride on a cat across the La Cruz. He's actually looking for a boat. Um, so whilst he's in La Cruz, uh, he's gonna stay uh, with me on board Milagro. I've known him for about 10 years now, I suppose. Nice guy, nice family actually. Um, but I don't know whether he's gonna find a boat there. We'll have to wait and see. He might have to do the trek around the whole of the sea. Start off in uh, the cruise and Puerto Vallarta, go up to Mazatlan, catch the ferry across to uh, La Paz, look there and then his last port of call, probably um, San Carlos. But that's where a lot of boats go to die. finally arrived in uh, Puerto Vallarta after a 45-hour um, uh, solo journey across the Sea of Cortez, most of which was um, pretty uneventful, uh, except for the last six hours from the Maria Madras Islands, which were a penal colony, uh, into uh, Bandiras Bay. Um, Unpredicted wind, uh, 21 knots on the nose or just off the nose with confused seas and quite a big swell. Um, it started about um, 10 o'clock at night and uh, carried on till four in the morning. The boat was um, lurching around um, tremendously. Um, I was sat in the cockpit uh, wedged up against the uh, combing and actually holding on to a rope um, to stop me falling the other way. Um, it was pretty horrendous. Then I got into Bandiras Bay and fortunately uh, it protected me from the swell. Um, but then I had to get into the, uh, the anchorage. I didn't want to risk coming into the marina. I was tired, um, glad to be here. And uh, a friend of mine was already in the anchorage and um, he put on a, a, a blue light uh, and told me to come to the back of the anchorage and then approach him from the rear which i did and uh, 
I dropped the anchor about four o'clock this morning. Um, couldn't actually quite work out where I dropped the anchor because the background lights of La Cruz and then the next village, uh, Bucerias, and the um, marina um, and the 12 boats that were anchored there, it's all very confusing, uh, very difficult to uh, orientate yourself, even using the ch chart pl plotter. But I got in, got the anchor down and uh, gave it a quick um, pull to make sure it was set and then went to bed, um, pretty damn tired to be honest. Uh, woke up about uh, eight this morning and Glenn came over and uh, we uh, brought the boat into um, La Cruz Marina, checked in and did all the normal um, stuff that you need to do when you move uh, into a new marina and uh, gave the boat a good clean. It's now six o'clock in the evening and I've really started to flag. <laughs> I'm really tired so I think it's going to be an early night um, yeah uh, and get some uh, get some good sleep. Uh, the trip was actually most of it was fine um, not an issue at all. I think trying to do it in one go um, maybe wasn't the right decision. I, I don't know if it hadn't been for the last six hours then um, yep um, it meant that I, that I got here pretty quick um, but uh, it, it wasn't very nice um, yeah it um, it was the last thing I needed at the end of a long a long trip so overall I did uh, 350 miles and um, whoa am I glad to be here um, the marine is lovely the village is lovely uh, had went out for breakfast this morning which was fun uh, with Glenn and then another friend of mine who came down in the Haha, -ha, he uh, uh, is looking for a boat to buy but um, he's going to base himself on my boat for the next couple of weeks and um, then go around looking at, at, at boats um, here and uh, maybe up in San Carlos. So um, yeah, end of an eventful trip. Um, pretty good overall but Mm. had some reservations in the end but uh, boy was I glad to get in last night.